Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Baba Sankara. In this video, we are discussing the importance of uh, Section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act. So, please remember, <coughs> in the case of actual Allahabad High Court case, in the case of Vijaya Devi and others versus State of Uttar Pradesh in Criminal Appeal Number no. 3330 by 84, dated 24 11 2022 two judges bench justice arvind kumar uh, mishra arvind kumar mishra and mayank kumar jain so they clearly held that section 27 indian act is applicable even though the woman the, the accused person is not arrested if he is in custody of the police itself is sufficient so now coming back to section 27 of the Evidence Act, right from 24, 25 of the Indian Evidence Act, you know, any confession made before a police officer cannot be proved or even if it is full or irrelevant. This you know, 25. What does 26 say? 26 says, even though the person gives a confession before two or three mediators and if the police are present, it is inadmissible. But what is admissible? This is more important for the purpose of investigation. So, a leverage was given in section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act. According to section 27 of the Indian Act, if any new fact is discovered, please remember, if any new fact is discovered as per the confession of the accused person, the fact of discovery, the fact of recovery is only relevant. That portion is only relevant. So, Sajanga, police in the world, this statement is not done. 27 Evidence Act of Prakaram, Saksh Bharatiya Saksha Chattam Prakaram, Evarayana, police in the confession is there. A confession is not done. This is not property, gaani, dead body, gaani, edana, a implements, a recovery. Te. A recovery work is not done. Admissible and the Gani, Katana, the Jepnet, Nenu, Wadu, Palanwan, Champion, and Body Kara Bodies and Mirusta, Subistano, William, Body Trace in a Body Trace of Uta, Antharic relevant, Megadar Gar. You all know this, not I, I need not explain in brief. So here the point is for being in custody, arrest is important or not, arrest is necessary or not. Yesterday I told you. Uh, in the previous classes, according to section 170 CRPC, if the investigation is completed, arrest is not necessary. Arrest is not a pre-mandate to give police remand by the magistrate. Yesterday, in one or two videos back, I have discussed also. Here also, we are going to tell you the same thing. Normally, even when we worked as a police officers, we were under the impression that the person should be in the custody. How can he be in custody? He should be arrested. This is a general point. But here, if you go to the case, then you will be able to appreciate. That's why every case depends on its own facts and circumstances. Now, coming back to the case. Actually, it is a marriage, marital affair where the bride uh, was uh, murdered. So the deceased Asha Devi, she is the victim. She was, uh, she married Mr. Ram Kripal. You know, this way back in 1980s. This incident itself happened in 1983. Right? So the woman Asha Devi was married Mr. K Ram Kripal. Right? His father is Netra Kripal. Mother is the present appellate Vijaya Devi. His mother, that is uh, Ram Kripal's mother, right? So after joining the marital life, she was subjected to humiliation. Actually, she was being harassed by the so-called husband Ram Kripal and mother-in-law as well as father-in-law also. And the father, so he has uh, gone to the held mediation and once again he has been sending her back. She has come back to her parental house. Uh, the routine things all, all have end. But the evil intention of Ram Kripal Singh is he wanted to marry the sister of Asha Devi Paravuj, the father of Asha Devi was not at all agreeable. So the troubles have been, the gap has been widened ultimately. So ultimately on the fateful day, that is on 23-8-1983, so they killed her and caused the disappearance of the dead body. Dead body is not traced. 
So immediately the father of the victim Usha Devi, Asha Devi, he has reported the matter to the police and the police registered a case under section 134 by 1983 under section 302 IPC of Siddhapur PS in Uttar Pradesh. Immediately they started manhunt, they started uh, actually their investigation and please remember when they have interrogated uh, Vijaya Devi, when they have interrogated Vijaya Devi, she has clearly stated that, please remember, that on the preceding night, her son Ram Kripal, husband Netra Kripal, they held the hands and feet of Asha Devi, the deceased, and strangled her to death, death by strangulation. Then they threw the dead body into the well. Right? This is the case. So after the police reached the spot, they have interrogated this woman, they did not arrest her and the facts have come to light and immediately they drained, drained out the water from the well, ultimately they took out the dead body, the dead body was recovered. Now the legal point, basing on the confession of the woman, Vijaya Devi, the body was recovered. But whether transaction 27 applies or not, this is the question. So here. The charge sheet was filed. Ultimately, the trial court held that yes, need not be under arrest if the basing on the confession of an accused person, if the fact is discovered itself is admissible under the 27th evidence act. Okay, fine. So convicted to life. Ultimately, they have filed an appeal before the high court. High court also opined the same. They have dismissed the appeal. Ultimately, the matter came to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court also basing on the very famous case law Sangamalal versus State of Uttar Pradesh 2002 where please remember the person need not be arrested for giving the confession it was held very clearly so therefore please remember here a sorry state of affairs is that uh, Pija Devi's uh, our main accuser, Asha Devi's uh, husband, that is uh, Ram Kripal Singh and his father Netrapal Singh, both of them died and only Pija Devi is remaining when the matter has come for appeal before the Supreme Court. So they have strictly, uh, the uh, defense uh, argued that Pija uh, Devi was not arrested and uh, taken into custody before giving the confession. So section 27 is not attracted. Please remember, Supreme Court held no. It's not necessary. Dead body was a trace. Yes, this statement or confession given by the so-called Vijaya Devi is admissible under Section 27 of the Indian Act. Therefore, the appeal is dismissed. Very good case law for prosecution. Normally, even I was under the impression that the woman should be arrested, then only the confession will be relevant. Not necessary. Supreme Court has in its wisdom it will give direction. This is a very good precedent. This will become a very good precedent and it will be actually supporting the police version, not to the advocates. So very good judgment. Please sir, keep it in your knowledge. Please read the judgment and enrich your legal knowledge. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.